Good Wednesday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a, an update on your forecast. We call this our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know more about this, drop me an email at austin.onik at wreg.com. A few scattered showers on their way from portions of central Arkansas heading back this direction. And as we get into the rest of the day, more chances of showers. Maybe the possibility of some isolated thunderstorms tonight, but otherwise nothing really major taking place at this time. Temperatures, red bar at the bottom of your screen, 50s for highs today, winds out of the northeast, mostly cloudy otherwise across the mid-south. Continuing cloudy with showers across the area tonight, winds continue out of the northeast until they switch around to the south early tomorrow morning, which means our temperatures are not going to drop too far for tonight, so temperatures tonight going back into the lower 50s or so and not really seeing too much of anything else in the way of major amounts of change out there where temperatures are concerned going downwards. Now going upwards, we'll be seeing the possibility of some areas getting some fairly decent amounts of warmer air coming our way, and that'll be getting into around the area of the weekend and also maybe the possibility of some stronger storms coming on through. Temperatures back into the upper 40s to around the lower 50s across much of the area throughout the rest of the day today. And as we go into the rest of the forecast, numbers heading about pretty close to normal for this time of the year back in the lower to mid 50s mostly cloudy skies and scattered showers out there unfortunately right on in through dismissal time for the kids for later on this afternoon we'll keep our eyes on that and keep you updated throughout the course of the rest of the day scattered showers leaving the mid-south back down to the south and to the east of us most of that uh, heading away from us down into around portions of northern areas of Alabama and southern and western parts of the viewing area there. Now back into around areas of northeastern Arkansas, we'll be seeing some more scattered showers up that direction, including into northwestern areas of Mississippi. Throughout the rest of the day, we're just not seeing that much in the way of heavier amounts of rainfall coming on through. More chances of this throughout, again, the rest of the day as that moisture makes its way into the Mid-South. Again, thunderstorms not seeing anything out there for this morning, but that could be changing into later on this afternoon and into this evening. Delays for this morning, cloudy skies across the Mid-South, but so far as the time we record this, nothing showing up in the way of, of delays at Memphis International Airport. Likewise, seeing little if any problems across the continental United States. Houston International, some delays due to weather thanks to heavy rainfall and a bit of fog, but not showing up any other delays across much of the rest of the United States. National Mall in D.C. from the National Park System's webcam looking at a few clouds and some sunshine making its way on through. If you'd like to find out more about their webcams around the National Park System, go to nps.gov or follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter and also on various other locations. First Fort Cam from in and around the area of Fort Smith, Arkansas, where the Poto meets the Arkansas River. Cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South and back to around portions of Fort Smith. A little bit further back here into the Mid-South area. Uh, numbers, again, not doing too bad for cloud cover out there into around the Ole Miss area. No rain fall there. School in session at Heidelberg Elementary. The morning rush is over with and more of our weather bug cameras available at wrhg.com slash webcams including a look at Germantown City Hall mostly overcast into around the area back toward East Memphis just north of Germantown High School. Precipitation yesterday nearly three quarters of an inch and managing an inch over for the month and for the year so definitely good news there and also into around the area for temperatures well above normal for this time of the year 48 degrees for a low 69 the high temperature yesterday well above normal for this time of the year minus two the record low set back in 1930 and a record high of 73 degrees, last set back in 1974. Rest of the day today, showers back to our south and west, making their way a little bit closer to us. It's moving into very dry air back to several thousand feet up, so it's going to take a while for the moisture to really make its way into the area and stick around. So by around dismissal time for the kids, News Channel 3 at 10, dinner time tonight in that area, we'll be seeing increasing chances of showers, possibly some more thunderstorms, widespread areas of showers and thunderstorms through the day tomorrow. Some of those might be on borderline strong side out there. We'll watch that very carefully. And then the rainfall chances dwindle and move out of the picture, giving us a little bit quieter conditions into Friday. Rest of the day today, cloudy and showers with a few thunderstorms across the Mid-South. Mid-60s as we head into tomorrow with some fairly widespread showers and thunderstorms out there. Morning showers and thunders possible around the area on Friday, and temperatures about 20 degrees above normal with those southerly winds. The weekend, we might see the possibility 
of some stronger thunderstorms out there with numbers back into the lower 60s or so. Lower 50s, closer to normal with rain expected by next Monday. Clearing out a bit by next Tuesday as temperatures rebound into the lower 60s and also seeing some much closer to normal temperatures as we get into next Thursday and Friday. But once again for this weekend, Saturday night into Sunday morning, looking at the possibility of some stronger weather in the Mid-South. Taking a look at weather where the troops are, if you have any friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the military just past sunset around portions of Iraq and mainly back in the mid-upper 50s to lower 60s with clear skies north and west of Baghdad. More clouds down toward Najaf and Basra for today. Back into the Persian Gulf, 60s and 70s from areas around Kuwait, Doha, and Bahrain. Fairly sunny skies into that area of the Persian Gulf, that part of the world. This time of the year, we can get some pretty decent sandstorms and dust storms. Much colder into Kabul, back in the lower 20s, into the upper portions of the southeastern part of the country in Afghanistan. 30s and 40s elsewhere across much of the rest of the country. No snow or rain. And the demilitarized zone southward for the Korean Peninsula. 20s and 30s with cloudy skies around Chuncheon into the DMZ and also around Pusan in the southeastern corner of the country. Clear in Seoul, Kunsan, and Taegu with 20s and 30s there. Got any pictures, anything you'd like to send along for anything involving weather, send it to aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Facebook, Instagram, and many other social media networks. Also tune in for my forecast coming up this weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Also on the air with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live Sports Chat throughout the week on Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 a.m. And don't forget to download your weather app, whatever platform you've got on the App Store. Search WREG Weather for more on that. rest of the forecast looks pretty good, and we go into next week still looking at some very mild conditions out of Across much of the Mid-South. We'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later today on News Channel 3 as I'll be in for Todd Demers through the noon show and also again on News Channel 3 weather at WREG.com slash weather for more. I'm meteorologist Austin Audick from downtown Memphis. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.